what you need to do is you need to find a computer and go to iCloud.com and you need to log in with your Apple ID and password. When you first log in, you'll be brought to the main iCloud screen. To disable Find My iPhone, we need to click on Find My iPhone. And a list is going to appear, up here at the top middle of our screen, of all of the devices that are connected to this Apple account. I apologize for the white boxes on the screen, but I don't think you'll need to know my exact location. But what I want to show you is, in order to remove a device from your iCloud account, that device needs to be powered off. So you can do that with an iPhone or an iPad if, if you can't do it the normal way uh, by holding both the home button and the sleep-wake button at the same time until the device powers off. Uh, or you can just power it off normally if that's available to you. But if your device is turned on, you're not going to be able to remove it from your iCloud account. So I have an example of both of those here. I have my iPad, and if I click on it, you know, it says uh, it was seen less than a minute ago, and I just don't have any option to remove it from my account. Now I have my phone that I recently turned off maybe five minutes ago. And if I click on my phone, you'll notice that I have this option down here at the bottom that says remove from account. At the same time, I can also click on the X in the drop down list, which will remove it from my account. You'll notice that, uh, are you sure you want to remove it? And you can go ahead and click remove. And then whatever you're trying to do where this feature is stopping you from doing it, if you're trying to restore your phone because it's frozen uh, when you tried to upgrade to iOS 9, then you should now be able to do it because that device has been removed from your iCloud account. You might have to wait five or 10 minutes when you first turn your device off to have the ability to remove it. And then you also might have to wait another five or 10 minutes after you actually remove it for that setting to take effect and for you to be able to do whatever you're trying to do. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, the trick is turning the device off. If you did find this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more technology tips and tutorials. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.